And so like, what is the number one thing that breaks every business that's the chokehold on every company and the reason why people don't succeed? It's not the opportunity, it's not the economy, it's not the market, it's not their job, it's not their career line. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy Elliott. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about the one thing that limits every entrepreneur. Now, by the way, it's not the vehicle, okay? It, and what does the vehicle mean? Like, it's not where you work. It's not the opportunity. It's not the economy. It's not the market. The one thing that limits every entrepreneur, the one thing that stops them from growing is the entrepreneur. You say, well, what does that mean, Andy? Well, the one thing that's changed my entire life is my love for the skill of learning. I want you to write this down real quick. There's beliefs, there's character traits. So write this down, character traits, like the character traits that you have, like how you operate as your character. Like, are you disciplined? Are you focused? You know, like things like that, which we'll get into that. Then there's skills, like the true skills that the entrepreneur has. And then there's beliefs. Like a lot of the reasons why an entrepreneur doesn't do very well, and I'm just gonna say like, it's not the, the chokehold in every organization is the leader. The chokehold in innovation is people dying to limiting beliefs. The chokehold to people thinking that what is maxed out in their income or their life or what's possible for them is them. And it's all based on a simple belief. So I want you to write this down, character traits beliefs and skills. And so this video is gonna be about how to build better character traits, how to build better skills, and how to build better beliefs. And I'm gonna give you a list of some things that I did personally to self-develop all of these. Now I want you to know something, first and foremost, I am an underdog. I tell people this all the time. When I was in school, I honestly didn't pay attention. I wasn't excited about learning. I'm gonna tell you this truly, I wasn't interested, okay? I know some of you are really interested in school. I wasn't interested in school. I never had any money my whole life. I wore the same two pair of jeans growing up, the same sh two shirts. It was kind of embarrassing a little bit. I never had more than $5 in my hand at one point in my life, maybe that was twice, until I was 18 years old. Then my very first day in sales, I made $1,700 on my first day in 1999. When, when I made that first commission, I remember my blood started moving through my veins differently. I was like, oh, this is my way out. And so when I started to say this is my way out, I thought, okay, what do I need to do? Number one, I need to build the character of a winner. Number two, I need to change the beliefs. I needed to alter my identity, right? The things that I'd been through uh, as a kid, the things that I'd seen growing up, the relationships I have been in, the stuff that I was told, it was all a lie. It was all a lie. And most of you that are watching this right now, the truth of it is, is that they, if you're in the United States of America, they, they print unlimited money and there's tons of it and you can really get as much of it as you want. But the fact of it is, is if you don't have the abundance mindset, mindset, which is a belief, and you have the scarcity mindset, which is a belief, you're never going to get any of that money. I want to ask you a question. If I had something right now that could change your life and it would cost you $10,000 to invest in, could you let go of the $10,000 out of your hand and invest in it? Once money controls you, you can't get money. Until money has no power over you, right, then you can't get any more money. Most people can't let go of money, so they can't receive money. It's just, it's just a belief. So anyway, so there's these beliefs that you have to break. There's these new beliefs that you have to reprogram. There's things that you have to unlearn. It's not always learning, okay? It, it is learning more. It's learning more knowledge. It's learning how to do something that like, if I want to figure something out and then I want to do it, what is the timeline between I want to do this and figure it out and then actually doing it? What does it take? What I learned is why I study, why I learn, why I train, why I work on these three things that I'm telling you about is because I want to shorten the timeline from here to here. What normally takes people four years to do, I want to do it in four months. So I cut the check for speed. I basically cut the check to pay people who have done what I want them to do or what they've done. And they have organized it in a certain way that I can learn it faster to do it quicker. Does that make sense? And by the way, when I was talking about beliefs, you remember Roger Bannister broke the four minute mile? When he broke the four minute mile, everybody said it was physically impossible. Nobody could break the four minute mile. But when he broke it, there were 28 people the next month that broke it right after him. Pretty crazy, right? Like no one ever did it and then 20, 28 people did it, right? It's pretty crazy. These are all beliefs. And so I remember when I got into entrepreneurship, remember I told you, I said, the one thing that will stop anyone from, from, from making it or going to the next level isn't the business, isn't the market, isn't the economy, it's not the vehicle that you're in, it's not your job, it's, it, it's your belief, it's you, okay? 
And if you can fix these beliefs, and I'll tell you this, the truth of it is, is that everybody that's watching this is absolutely completely qualified to get whatever they want in life. And there's a lot of people that actually aren't as good as you that are better than you right now because they did what I'm about to tell you to do. And it means that you can pass them very quickly if you'll do this as well. So a belief system was when I watched somebody that was running a seven, eight, you know, nine figure business. And I was like, honestly, dude, after listening to them talk, after listening to like what they do, like they're not better than me. I'm like, why not me? Once I started saying that, everything started to shift. And that's kind of my goal with you on this content right now as I'm talking to you is how to change your life forever. So it's up to you. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay off some, I'm gonna label um, some things that I think that you need to do, some things that I want you to write down. And I want you to circle the ones that you've invested in. Is that cool? So number one, I want you to write down, these are things I learn every single day. These are things that I'm doing at least every single day, one of these things. So I want you to write this down. Masterminds, workshops, I put seminars, one-on-one -on -one coaching, one-on-one -on -one mentorship, books. I always say readers are leaders. If you're a leader, you're gonna be reading every single day. Coaching programs. I've never ever taken a coaching program and not got a massive ROI. Again, as before I continue to keep going to this, if you're a winner, going into any kind of coaching program, even if it was a bad one, I'm still gonna get a huge ROI out of it because I am a winner and that's what I do. I heard somebody the other day, they're like, yeah, I took this guy's coaching program and honestly, it wasn't worth it. You know what I mean? You know, I lost money buying it. I thought, well, that's a loser mentality, dude. I'm, I'm a winner. If I plug into anything, I'm gonna get something out of it. I'll always get my ROI back. And so like, like, I want you to write that down. What is the one thing that limits every business, right? The entrepreneur, the belief, the characters, the, the, the traits, the skill. What are those things that you have? One to 10, rate them now. Are they a 10? I mean, are you maxed out or do you have a lot of room to grow? Are you the best at what you do in your industry? Let's keep going. Google, I've learned a lot from Google. Okay, I've learned a lot from YouTube. You guys are probably watching this right now on YouTube. I want you to think about it, all these things, but how many of these things are you really investing in? How many of these things are you really learning from on a daily basis? Where are you at now and where do you wanna go? I'm gonna ask you a question. If it took you 10 years and you didn't have to do any of these, but you could compress the time frames, turn decades into days instead of taking 10 years, you could do one year of doing masterminds, workshops, books, seminars, one-on-one -on -one coaching, coaching programs, Google and YouTube, and you could do these every day for one year. If you could go from A to B instead of doing 10 years and you could take it down to one year, what would your life look like then? I always tell people like, how soon do you wanna to get to that life that you want? And see, I have this like impatient thing in me. I call it aggressive, aggressive patience. I am patient because you're gonna have to be patient because things are always gonna take longer than you want. And most people underestimate how hard it's gonna be. Most people underestimate how smart they're gonna have to become, how much education they're gonna have to receive, how, how much they're gonna have to learn, how much grit, perseverance, right, and fortitude that they're gonna have to have to make it, to, de to develop these mental toughness traits to become a great entrepreneur. But to character traits, I put down a couple here, integrity, focus, and discipline. Integrity is something where trust is everything to me, loyalty is everything to me, focus is, um, people say time's the most valuable thing in this world, I don't think it is. I think what gets your attention is the most valuable thing in this world because I know a lot of people that have a lot of time but they focus on the wrong attention and nothing happens. I'd rather have a short amount of time with the right intention and I can go further with less time. And so like, what is the number one thing that breaks every business that's the chokehold on every company and the reason why people don't succeed? It's not the opportunity, it's not the economy, it's not the market, it's not their job, it's not their career line, it is the entrepreneur. And how does the entrepreneur win in all of these like great opportunities around the world that exist currently. Study, train, practice. So the one thing that will make you a better entrepreneur is to train. It's to invest in yourself. It'll be the one thing that separates you from everyone else, from skill, from belief, from character traits, and time. And so what I would say is if you're to make a decision today is to put your attention 
towards making yourself better and self-developing every single day. Like Jim Rohn said, don't wish it was easier, wish you were better. So it's all about from today forward. If you're watching this right now and you're like, man, dude, I don't know why I'm not where I need to be. I don't know why a lot of people in this world are getting the life that, that I want or that they want and I can't seem to scale and grow mine. I'm stuck, okay? I can't get a breakthrough or I'm doing really good, but I can't find another edge to get me to that next level. Guys, I coach and mentor top salespeople, beginning salespeople, badass business owners with billion dollar companies all around the world. If you guys go down to the bottom of this YouTube video, there's gonna be a description box, okay? And it's gonna have a link in it. And it's gonna say, see if you qualify to coach with Andy. I only put eight questions. And I know the eight answers that I want out of these eight questions. And I know the people that I wanna coach and I wanna build the world's greatest leaders, the world's greatest business owners, the people that are gonna build empires, impact people's lives, and honestly build a, a rich life and become rich. If you're watching this and you're hungry about go, going to the next level and you would like for me to personally coach you and push you and help you to develop a new play to get to that next level, go below, click on the link, answer these eight questions, make sure you fill out your full name right, your email address, and your phone number. And if everything looks good, and the way that I see it is I know who I want to coach. If I feel like that's you and you qualify, I'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours. Guys, I love you, I appreciate you, I'm grateful for you. I want you to know the only thing in this life that's gonna give you, give you the life that you want, and it's gonna change generational curses, it's gonna break your bloodline, like my shirt says, bloodline breaker, is gonna be you. No one's coming to save you. It's all you, okay? And if you don't do it, and you don't do it for your family, it's gonna have to be someone else. And I changed my life. I decided that that was gonna be me and my family. And I did, and I have a life now that my family's in a great place. I love who I am. I look in the mirror, I'm proud of me. I love helping other people get what they want. I just live a very good life and it wasn't always this way. And so I figured out the blueprint, the cheat code and the way to make this happen and that's why I'm sharing this with you. And so if you're someone where you're like, dude, I need that edge, I, I, I totally resonate Andy with everything that you're saying, go down to the description box below, click on the link, answer the eight questions and if you qualify, I'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours. Have a blessed day, I'll see you guys soon.